Welcome back to Coil Snail. <laughs> Today we're taking the ferry from Anna Quartz, Washington to Orcas Island. We got here good and early because I was very worried we'd be late. And so now I think we're going to be waiting here in aisle 11 for an hour and a half. Yesterday, we drove the 700 miles from Central California up to just outside Ana Cortez, and we stayed at a Harvest Host. We spent our extra time this morning in Washington Park, which is just up the street from the Ana Cortez Ferry Terminal. We were able to get out of the truck and just sit in our beach chairs in the trailer parking area, and they even had a dump station so we could empty our tanks before we hop on this ferry. People have pulled out their chairs. They're camping outside. They're like, like the engines are off. Feels People like tailgating. Yeah. That's that's what it feels like. If we didn't have our cats, I would maybe get out and join them. So I think because we're second in line, yeah. we're going to be one of the first trailers on, and maybe one of the first trailers off. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. Reservations are really strongly recommended for travelers taking vehicles onto the ferry, especially in the summer months. 2023 at least, you could make reservations starting on April 25th. Before you make your reservations, you'll need to know the combined length of your vehicles, your tow vehicle and your trailer, and the height. While I was making the reservation, the site prompted me to choose whether our vehicle was under 7 foot 2, between 7 foot 2 and 7 foot 6, between 7 foot 6 and 13 feet or taller than 13 feet. I indicated that we were less than 7 foot 2, but the website said there were no reservations available for a trailer that size. When I selected the middle range height, it let me make the reservation. I guess the system didn't believe that a vehicle as long as we were could be as short as we are. We're between 30 and 40 feet, so the price for our tickets was $249.50. We paid $15.20 for our second adult, and both the boys and the cats were free. When you make your reservation, you also save a spot for your trip back to Anacortes, and the fee you pay as you board the ferry covers both parts of your trip. The trip from Ana Cortez to Orcas Island takes about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on whether or not you stop at any other islands along the way. We stopped at Shaw Island on our trip out, and the trip is so beautiful, you will wish it was longer. Your pets do need to stay in certain areas of the ferry. Those are well marked. In theory, our cats would have been fine on leash. They wouldn't have been super comfortable with that, so they stayed in their packs. Um, there were dogs who were out on leash that we saw while we were on the ferry. This wasn't our only ferry ride this summer and we're about to spend several days on Orcas Island. So if you're interested in camping in the Pacific Northwest, now's a great time to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification button. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.